Thanks again for tuning back into the channel. If you haven't watched the Netflix series Ripley yet, can I suggest that as a photographer you watch this series? Visually it is stunning. The grading in it is stunning as well and you can actually stop any scene in any of the episodes and you have a completed finished image. They have taken so much time and consideration in creating this. It's just, it's a visual treat to watch as a photographer and also the series itself. It's a limited series on Netflix currently. Because of the Ripley series, I was compelled to come up and try and create a gradient map that matched the colour scheme. So this week's video is going to be looking at creating that gradient map. Now I'm not going to go into the really, really fine details because that's what those guys do. I just thought it would be a good way to introduce you to Adobe Color and to creating gradients using images from TV shows, films, etc. On the left is the image we're going to be working with for this video and on the right is Adobe Color which is a fantastic resource if you want to understand color theory and look at other creators images and color themes and gradients which you can also download as well. Now I've dropped the Ripley image onto the page and it's extracted the theme for me in this case the monotone theme but you can do it in color as well it's entirely up to you so for this video i'm going to show you how i used adobe color to apply the theme to the images you will see the first thing you want to do is create a gradient map and it's this gradient map that we are going to be working with to apply the theme now if you open up, click on the gradient map and I'm in basics at the moment and it's just simply foreground to background colours. And I'm creating by clicking along here five extra options to allow me to apply the colour theme from Adobe. Now if you get down you will see that it copies the actual hex numbers and you just go into the colour and where it says the hex numbers just Command or Control and V and it applies that one and then click OK. Then go to the next one down, which in this case will be that. Copy it. Make sure you're on that one. Click as well and open the colour and copy and paste the hex number in there as well. So this is the process that you get through for all of them. And I'm working from lights to darks in this. You can work any way you want, but I'm just working from lights to dark because it seems the most sensible for this one. Now, as you'll notice that I am doing this individually. With Adobe Color, you can actually download the theme if you want into your library in Photoshop and then just use it from there. But I wanted to do it this way to show you how it actually works if you decide to do this for yourself. Now that I've copied all of these, I'm on the final one now and I just copy the hex number up and then apply the hex number and click OK. Once I'm happy, open up Photoshop so that you can see this over the entire screen, but you can see here that they are very similar. So this is the gradient map that's just been applied to this image. Now we're going to take it a little bit further in this video and we're actually going to make it a preset. So with this, I'm going to add curves just to make it slightly different. I'm just going to play around with the curves just to see what effect I get for this. And I can raise the mid-tones, bring the darks down just to get, but I'll also be very wary of any elements that are coming into the scene as well. So now go into adjustments. And if I select both of these and then go up to your presets and hit plus, I can now rename this. And in this case, I'll call this one Ripley 3. Now you can see just over in my presets, I've created another two already prior to this video. And that's just so that I can work through any of these that I want and apply any of these to any image that I want. Because it's in your presets, it's adjustable, so I can go in and I can put Ripley 3 there, 
ripley 2 ripley 1 and then whatever one i'm happiest with for the image just click it and it applies the preset to it so now that's that one created i can go into any other image and just apply any of in this case the ripley presets to whatever image i want and it's just a case of testing them out to see what one suits the image best you might be after a certain effect with it it also works if you have people in your images and just based around the ripley theme just drop in a street view for this just to see how it works with them and then of course go in and try it with an image of new york that i had as well now the images that i've used in this video are all free stock images from adobe stock hopefully you get something from that and hopefully it lets you see how easy it is using adobe color to take the color themes from anything that you like, even your own photos to apply them to the other photos in the series. It's actually really, really quite simple. And the way I've done this, I have done it in the basic form, but hopefully that gives you an understanding just in case anything goes wrong when it's shown you at this level of introduction to it, it allows you to see how you can go back and amend and correct any mistakes that perhaps you've made. Thanks again for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video.